if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Anna and I am an English student at the University of Cambridge. A second year student now, I guess. That feels very strange to say, not a fan of that. I thought today that I would film a video on moving back to Cambridge. My moving to Cambridge vlog from last year is one of the most popular videos on my channel, so I guess you guys like it. So I thought I would repeat it for moving into second year. I will be living in Memorial Court again, which is traditionally the accommodation for first years. However, some second years like myself do live there. Personally, I am living there because I needed a disabled room and the best room for me was in Memorial Court. So I will be living on a corridor full of first years which I'm really excited to meet. But yeah I thought I would make a video documenting my journey back to Cambridge. I am making a little bit of a triangle around the UK, a little bit of a longer journey but I will show you what is happening in the video. If you've seen my last vlog, you will have seen that I spent most of September in Cornwall, so I had very little time to get everything packed and ready to leave. So on the morning of the 27th of September, I went to Ikea just to get a few last bits and bobs. And then we went into Bristol because all last year I wanted an iPad for lectures and I decided to get the student bundle from Apple. We then did some very rushed last minute packing and I'm pretty sure I've forgotten like half of my stuff. We then packed the car and headed off for Manchester. And you might be wondering why I'm going to Manchester in a Cambridge move-in vlog and I promise we will eventually get to Cambridge but this is because I needed my partner to take me to uni so I decided to stay with him in his accommodation for a few days beforehand. So I thought I'd show a couple of clips of us exploring Manchester together. that I look like a porcupine in the next clips but I had to show why my hair colour just suddenly changes in the middle of this video. Please excuse how tired I look, the terrible lighting and my wet hair. Honestly I'm really really tired because I didn't manage to get much sleep last night because I was so anxious about moving today. It's about 7.30 on the 2nd of October which means it is moving day. As it's a three to four hour journey, we've gotten up quite early so we can just get up and get on. So we're just going to have some breakfast now and pack the car and try and leave for about eight to half eight. So I feel slightly more alive. We are just getting some petrol before heading off. We're gonna go the way through the Peak District because I like scenic routes and it only takes a couple of more minutes to go that way. to see that Memorial Court was covered in scaffolding when I arrived but if you want to see this building not covered in scaffolding you can see it on my college tour. So it's about 
30 and we just arrived at college. Just had a bit of a nightmare with my key and my card just wasn't working. So I've been running back and forth to the Porter's Lodge to get that sorted out. But thankfully I'm actually in the room now. When I arrived, I saw loads of my friends, which was really, really nice. And I also met one of you guys, my first real life fan. And that was so exciting. And I just wanted to say hi. So I'm going to go and get everything out of my car and sort of just dump it in here. And then I also have to go up to the loft in order to get the stuff that I stored up there. So obviously all of my stuff is dumped in the room, but this is what the room looks like before I unpack everything. I like about this room is the view of the UL and this is the shared kitchen or in Cambridge terms the JIP we were really tired after moving all of the stuff into my room so we decided to walk into town to go and get some lunch we ended up at one of my favorite cafes in Cambridge a Bantu After lunch we went back and started to unpack everything and it was at this point of making the bed that I realised I had forgotten my fitted sheet. The first of many many things that I have managed to forget. And what is a moving vlog if it is not 80% time lapses? done the majority of the unpacking we decided to take a trip out to Tesco's in order to get me all of the long life food that I needed. We also went on a hunt for a fitted sheet. For me flowers are a really nice way of sort of owning a space and also making it more beautiful and allowing me to feel more at home there. When you're moving to a new place or especially when you're moving away from home for the first time it's really important to claim your space as your own and make it feel homely and special. And following on from this I decided to leave my pin boards till last because I really like decorating them and I really think they bring the room together. sorry that I didn't vlog in the evening of yesterday I was just so tired from all the moving and unpacking I mean it's quite a nice parallel to my first year moving vlog considering I went to sleep at like 8 or 9 p.m in that video so I ended up just watching the green night and my boyfriend stayed for the evening because I <laughs> was just in a headspace so I just didn't want to be left here on my own and he'd also done a lot of travelling that day so we are just going to go and get some brunch at Fitzbillies I think it's a very like iconic Cambridge thing so I just wanted to take him to do that I also forgot to pick some things up from the shops yesterday so we're going to pop into Sainsbury's and the body shop on the way back
just bumped into one of the people that I'm sharing the staircase with in the jet room and I also saw some of my friends from last year. Some of them are living in the attics of the staircase that I'm on, so just a couple of floors above, but I think I'm going to spend like this evening with them. So my boyfriend just left to go back to Manchester, but he left me with this bag of vegan goodies and I thought I would just quickly show you what I got. This video is now an unboxing video, you know? Firstly, this little cute Manchester postcard which is of course going to go on my pin board and then we have lots of sweet things to try we've got veg hogs chocolate I love chocolate then soya puddings I've not tried the caramel flavors but I like the vanilla and the chocolate chocolate hazelnut milkshake Ooh, I really like these eat real crisps and there are so many flavours that I just haven't tried, so whenever we see some that I haven't tried, we always pick some up. And this is the chilli and lemon flavour. Copper soup. He also found these noodles, which look really exciting. They are buckwheat and sweet potato noodles, because I really, I like lived off stir fries in first year, but... I have had to transition to being gluten free over the summer and I was really worried I wouldn't be able to have stir fries but now I have some exciting noodles to try. I also found out that I'm not supposed to be drinking over this summer for medical reasons but I really love mojito cocktails and he found a virgin mojito cocktail so that is fabulous. He's done very, very well with this box. I am not entirely happy with the way my room looks yet. I've ordered a couple of things to come so I can finish decorating. But when I am done decorating, would you guys like to see a room tour? Mention in the comments if that is something you would like to see. It's quite different from my first year room, so that might be interesting to see the sort of variation of rooms you can get in Memorial Court at Clare College. But I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you're a uni student, I hope you like your accommodation. I hope you are happy with the way you've decorated it and all of that stuff. And I hope you are enjoying the start of the year. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you all very soon.